Hi there. Uh, so now I've finished the three mats with the same design. It's uh, called the Ergo Mark IV. Um, and why is it Mark IV? Yeah, it's because I made some different prototypes before and I like to show them to you. Um, I'm trying different shapes, different models, different weight, different uh, ratios and size. And my first innovation was the revolver grip. And this one is made especially for the left-handed. As you can see, the handle is turned and it's different on the left side and on the right side. And works pretty good, uh, a little bit on the heavy side. And the next one was no, uh, this one. Um, I like to play with a lot of loops and a lot of spin. And I noticed that I often hit the ball quite far down on the bat. And that's why I made this tilted uh, shape, drop shaped, uh, because when I'm looping and I'm just a little bit late, instead of hitting the edge and getting a bad hit, I have some rack left and so I can get a lot of better, more good hits on the ball and the brushing the ball uh, long, can have a longer ball contact. And so this one is also made for left-handed, as I'm a left-handed left player and for the index uh, finger and the thumb around. My third model, the Mark III, is this one. It's a bit dirty now as I've played a lot with this one. And it's the same principle, the finger around and thumb. And it's ergonomically shaped around the thumb. It's, it's good for cutting and also good for looping. And I, I noticed that I can use this small edge here when serving underpin and I can use the finger to get a faster flick motion. And then there's also this one which started it all actually. As I, I started playing ping pong again after a lot of years and I, I saw the cyber shape, the cyber sh uh, Stiga cyber shape and I wanted one but I thought it was quite expensive and didn't want to spend that much much money before I knew that I was going to play. Uh, so I made my own hexagon, even got a badge there. Um, it's not seven sides as the cyber shape, uh, it's six and works pretty well. A little bit on the heavy side, um, but hey, what do you do? Um, um, now then, uh, this one. Uh, I made three, uh, almost identical. And uh, there's a little different woods. There's walnut on this one. And I actually forgot what kind of wood this is. Um, any ideas? Anyway, uh, the ID is ergonomic shape, you can hold it a little different, you can do a handshake and you have a lot of surface here to cut the ball and to make back end banana flick, uh, strawberry and uh, loops and also in the serves you can use your Index finger and the little finger to get a lot of a lot of spin on the ball. 
we'll see how it works and I've got three of them they're 130 euro and I can ship them anywhere uh, I'd also like to show you some of the material that I use uh, the core is made of balsa it's very light um, so quite sturdy you can bend it some on this side but not so much here and it's lightweight and very very good keep at keeping the shape uh, keeping the flat surface and I also use veneer it's uh, 0.6 millimeters and I used to uh, turn the direction of the fibers in different directions so the the blade gets um, sturdier and doesn't twist at e as easy uh, when you laminate and you put them together so you have one going upwards one going to the side and then upwards again onto the balsa core and of course there's gonna be three on this side too uh, you can choose different thickness and different amount of veneers and uh, um, even few or only veneer if you want to but I, I've noticed that it, it wasn't very good without the balsa core and on these ones I made wood handles and different kind of wood but I found out that cork uh, works very well and it's pretty lightweight and it's comfortable easy to shape and uh, pretty cheap but very works, works well very good so that's it for this time and i'll see you the next time um, maybe on another racket or maybe some practicing or uh, going to competition um, 5th of June so wish me luck